A major power breakdown amounting to 8,000 megawatts, according to the energy minister, deprived large swaths of southern Pakistan, including financial capital Karachi, of electricity. The Ministry of Energy attributed the breakdown to an accidental fault in the transmission system. Later, Energy Minister Khurram Dastir Khan, in a press conference, was hopeful that electricity would be fully restored to normalcy by tonight and announced that power had begun returning to parts of southern Punjab. He shared the preliminary findings of the circumstances that led to the breakdown. We are trying to the time हमारे जो कंडक्टर कटे हैं जो रीकनेक्शन की टीम है एक जहां अगर कभी कहीं हमें रिपेयर करनी है वो टीम्स बाहर हैं और तीसरी टीम जैसे हमने मूव कर दिया है वो इंक्वायरी की टीम है जो चार दिनों में وزارت توانائی को ये रिपोर्ट देगी कि ये वाकया कैसे पेश आया और लेकिन हमें ये तवक्को है कि हमारी कोशिश की वजह से हमें जो सबसे बड़ी कामयाबी हुई है वो ये हुई है जो इसको आप कह सकते हैं कि हमने मुल्क के शमाल को इस ब्रेकडाउन से महफूज रखा है। He said, as a result of the two power lines in which the fault developed, parts of Karachi, Hyderabad, Sakar and Quetta and partially in Multan and Faisalabad experienced power breakdowns. Dastgir added he was personally monitoring the progress of the restoration. Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif said that he was absolutely willing and ready to engage with India for the sake of regional peace and prosperity. But the onus was on New Delhi to take the necessary measures for meaningful and result-oriented engagement. The Premier regretted issues that have kept the two countries apart had hampered the promotion of bilateral trade and investment. The Prime Minister stressed that the people deserve resources to be diverted to their education and health. He, however, said the onus remains on India to take a necessary step to engage towards the result-oriented solutions. PM Sharif highlighted India's unabated atrocities in Jammu and Kashmir for the last seven decades, where he said that the Kashmiris faced the continued denial of their right to self-determination. He urged other countries to take notice of India's bullet-over-ballot policy as it blatantly quashed the United Nations Security Council's resolution on holding a plebiscite in Kashmir. The Prime Minister later tweeted he had explained how India uses the mantra of democracy to hide its gross human rights abuses. PTI Chairman and former Minister Imran Khan appeared to hold the federal government and agencies responsible for rising incidents of terrorism in Swat. Addressing a workers' convention in Char Sadda, he said that terrorism had started rising since the incumbent government came into power. He alleged that instead of fulfilling its responsibility of controlling terrorists coming from the borders, the federal government was busy securing acquittals in cases against its members, indulging in corruption and creating political cases against opponents swat ke andar jo ho raha hai aur qabaili ilake mein bhi jo purana qabaili ilaka tha main aaj federal government se poochta hu ki aap zimmedar hain iske aapne kaise ijazat di border aapke control mein hai aur border se ye jo log aaye hain aur ye jo ab dehshatgardi ho rahi hai Imran called on the people to vote for PTI in the upcoming bipole and ensure its victory.